Alright guys, welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2. So it's been a little while since we played, there has been an update to skills, they've added a new character, there are tons of new items. Let me show, open up the logbook to show off those. So yeah, there's about 8 or 10 new items that we have uh, to unlock. They added challenges that are specific to each character. So like there's specific commando challenges, multi and stuff like that, so those are ones we can unlock new stuff with as well. And so I think I'll take the Engineer for a spin, because I remember how to play them. We'll start off on Monsoon dis difficulty, because, you know, gotta give it a little bit of a challenge when you come back. So they changed the mines on Engineer, so apparently they do 300% damage initially, and then if it has full time to arm, it does 900 damage. Or 900%. So, uh... Oh, they also changed the uh, Lunar display. Okay, getting back used to this. Do I have a sprint? Yeah, I have a sprint. Alright. But yeah, hopefully we run into some new items on this run, and we are able to get some of the new bosses. There's apparently a new area, kind of like that gold colossus one. I don't have any clue how to get to it, so we'll kind of figure that out as we go, but anything that we don't recognize is probably going to be something that triggers it. Hear those floating mass guys. I'm like, I can't hit you with grenades, so you get turned. <laughs> so I've been a lot of chests. Um, kind of want to see some new items. Where are they at, game? I did forget how slow the engineer flies around. I think this is still normal movement speed, but it just seems so much slower. <laughs> But yeah, I'm quite happy to come back to the game after a uh, little bit of a break from it. Alright, well, that's not a new item. But there was a lot of balance tweaks and stuff like that, and I have not read the full patch notes, so I might not know all the stuff. Alright, let's try these armed mines. How long do they take to arm? Ah! Okay, so they do quite a bit of damage if you leave them down for, like, four or five seconds. Ow. Um, I'm gonna take the heal outside of battle, because that's gonna be handy. My dodging skills are not up to spec. Uh, let's get some crits. Let's see if I missed anything by going down the other path over here. Really just... There's just not a lot of chests. Alright then. Okay, I see some more chests over here. Wow, even the little side area is locked. Well, we won't have too much trouble finishing up this area very quick, uh, fairly quickly. I yeah, wasn't sure actually how much uh, new content there was, because we got distracted with getting Rocket Wars coded and all the new series and stuff that are soon to be coming out, so I figured, you know, it's nice to return to an old classic. Ow. Alright, some fireworks. Yeah, I don't know if all these new items are going to require me to actually, like, complete challenges, or if they're going to be potentially some of them available just out in the world. So we will just have to see. Right, I think there was one more chest over here somewhere. Well, maybe that was everything. Alright, let's take on a boss. Now, I don't know if there are new, just random bosses, so we might get some new stuff. We might just get Jellyfish, because that seems to be the one that this uh, map prefers. Oh, it's Beetle Queen. 
Oh, we seem to have much fewer mines in our stockpile, so I think they buffed them but gave us less of them. Okay. I can see that being a uh, good rebalancing of them, because no one ever needed ten of them. And maybe you can have ten active now, but you have to earn them, so that way those uh, extra clips and stuff won't be a negative. Oh, here, this is uh, Warhorn. Actually, your equipment gives you a burst of attack speed. Okay, well, that I think that's an old one. I think we've had that one before. That was one of the recently added ones while we were still playing. I like the new effect on Bleed. They actually have, like, a little bit of, like, blood splurting effect and stuff. And apparently if you are on fire and stuff, you actually, uh... It actually, like, does, a, like, a little burn effect kind of thing. You know, I probably should have grabbed some of these drones and stuff. I'll grab them around at the end of the mound. Kind of forgotten about them. But, uh, yeah, there's actually one of the achievements I was looking through them, and one of them is to die burning three times. So I'm like, well, that's gonna happen. Burn damages. Oh, the lunar coins now have a donut hole in them. All right. Well, I'll take some lunar donuts. I totally forgot about our... my shield skill. Ah. I knew I was forgetting something when I was placing those guys up there on the rock. Oh, I'm so rusty at this game. Oh, did we finish the teleporter? Good. There were two things over here that I totally missed the last time. Oh, there was a chest over here. <gasps> it's the turtle! Temporary barrier on kill. Nice. And then the other drone was over here as a healing drone. Keep forgetting how important the drones and stuff are, at least the healing drones are, on single player runs. I'm so used to the multiplayer where it's like, eh, you don't need them all the time. Is there another drone down there? No, it was an open container. And that's a turret. All right, cool. We cleared the area. But yeah, apparently there are achievements for, like, beating the bosses, like, 20 bosses in a run and stuff. So they've added a lot of more uh, challenges that'll keep you playing. This game just keeps getting better and better. Alright. Yeah, so it does look like we cap out at four mines. Alright. The ten was a little excessive. Ooh, fancy chest. Now, I don't know if the purple chest is something special, or if this is, like, a lunar item. I'm not exactly sure what the C on it means. Is there a way to zoom out a little bit? No. Also, did our engineer change color to purple this round? I'm not sure if that's a new change or not. Alright, so it's not very much more expensive to get that, so I doubt that's a lunar item. Well, I kind of want to go to the lunar item shop. I don't know if I can still get up there, if, or if they change the map so you can't get up there without a jump boost item. Yeah, yeah. Aha! Alright. So you can see how the shop has changed. Feels like they rebalance some of the uh, health and stuff on these enemies as well. Either I'm just not used to playing with the uh, new grenades. Get some fireworks in the mix. All right, we got rally banners. What does this give us? A key. Okay, so maybe that's like uh, the utility chest. Would like to pick up my bracelets for this area. Let's see if we can't find some buttons. Get another key, a med pack. I wonder if they ever reworked med pack. I'll take the crowbar. It will combo really well with my mines and stuff, because it's if the mine is the first damage done, then it's going to do a lot more. Aha! We 
found one of the buttons already. All right, we just need to go find the other one, and then we can come back and step on this one. Get some gambling in. Oh, okay, that got real expensive real fast. I wonder if they might have reworked the uh, value of enemies and stuff. Not entirely certain. I guess we are only on the second level, so things might be fairly uh, low value for kills. But I'm all up for it if they manage to fix that issue where if after a certain point the money became, like, infinite because everything was dropping so much and requiring so little to purchase. Definitely feels like the elites are much more damage resistant. But that could just be, uh... Could just be from not being played so often that I've forgotten how much damage it takes to kill something. Ooh, we got a lunar item pod. You know what? Let's take a look, because there's a lot of good ones that combo with Engineer. Alright, extra clip, so that gives me a fifth mine. And I'm fairly certain we can uh, place up to ten. Oop, another Warhorn. I'd need some equipment to get me some attack speed boost. Um, shield generator. Let's see what the random one is. Shield generator. All right, then. All right, what do we got? Yeah. Automatically activates my weapon. That sounds like it's perfect. Because that will combo well with my Warhorns, giving me attack speed butt boost when I'm, you know, just whenever. I think the best way to do these uh, mines, I think you're probably spread out more rather than stacking them all on a single point now, because they do a lot more damage, and so they'll be better to hit the enemy with. All right, if I'm right, there should be... Nope, I am wrong. Where's that other button? Or where is it chest, for that matter? I would love some energy drinks or some sprint speed, because it is slow going around this map. All right, we got some boss damage. Yes, draw them into my mines. The ambush awaits. Aha! Brilliant. Okay, so the mines are a lot more tactical now. It's not just spam and forget kind of a thing. I like it. What's this other button? There it is. Alright, well there was not quite as many chests and stuff as I thought there would be on the map, but that's fine. I'll come back and check this over ridge area on the way back to the boss teleporter. We are well into the hard section, so... Uh, Gonna start dying soon. Oh god, I just realized that I have Gesture of the Drowned while not having an equipment item. That could be pretty bad. Uh, almost forgot the second button. I'm like, I'll just go right to the exit. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get a war banner placed down next to the boss arena. That's unfortunate. Extra attack speed would have been nice. Alright, let's see if these guys changed any. I don't want to die to the uh, fire damage right away. I'll work on that achievement another day.
Okay, well, they are significantly tankier than normal. Just wait for my second turret to come back. <laughs> Maybe not wait that long. Engineer does not do quite as much damage anymore. Ooh, that fire is... Wow. Okay. Yep, fire hurts. I'm glad I have the, uh... Ooh, boy. The ancient, uh... Whatever you call it. Or the stealth kit. Ugh. Try to run in and steal the ring to get some more advantage against that guy, but uh, it's not happening. All right, you're out. Oh, oh god, I'm on fire. Oh, oh, it's sp oh, he's got the little like tornado thing. Crap. Okay, there we go. Now we should be safe for a bit. Okay, yeah, these guys are not pushovers anymore. There goes that turret. I'll wait for my shield to come back. Holy crap. And the healing from the slug is not quite as much as it normally is either, so... Uh, this is definitely more of a challenge. Alright, there we go, finally. That took much longer than it probably needed to. <laughs> You're probably gonna die to this boss. Now, the downside is I did not actually read over the engineer's achievement, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be trying to do with the engineer. I bet you there's like one achievement where it's like, don't use a turret and beat a level or something. Everything is much tankier. I think it's, yeah, we have probably gotten a little bit too far through this, uh, progression. Oh, right, I forgot about the gambling thing. I'll go gamble a few times, see if I can't get something really useful, because, uh, I need it quite badly. The little guys are taking a lot of hits. Um, that is unfortunate. I do not want that to auto-activate. Okay, so it looks like when my turrets kill, I actually do get the overshield, maybe? So that's nice. Alright, we can get one more item, maybe... That bleed is actually noticeably better as well. Missile drone. Yes, please. Nope, does not look like there's any more items on the map. Alright. I'm gonna wait for my turret to come back. Because having two turrets on the boss immediately are going to be uh, kind of vital to me surviving here. Oh. Well, crap. This is kind of a bad place for turrets, but... Eh, I guess it'll work. The rock is in the way. The boss should probably spawn not over there, yeah. But, oh no, I guess it spawned just fine. That turret is kind of in trouble. Oh, that's not even the boss. That the, the Dune Strider is the boss. Oh no. Well, that 
That is on... Oh, there are two of them. And they hurt. They hurt a bunch. Scatter some mines around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We need that shield. God, those beetle guards are monsters now. Focus down on the strider, guys. Come on. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even in the zone right there. Oh, no. Oh, there's an entire another Dune Strider still over here. Lovely. Not even see this thing run off this way. Ow. Alright. Okay, War Mask. That combos with uh, some of my stuff, so that's not too bad. Need to get some, like, AoE, Chain, Will-O-Wisp, something like that going on. Ukulele. Alright. Head through the portal. Did I, did I use the portal? It's still killing? Oh, okay, I'm still killing stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we got a new, uh... What is it? Lunar item. Still need an active item, but none of the lunar active items are good ones, because the one will kill me with the number of times this uh, best uh, gesture of the drowned has uh, shown up. Yeah, that thing would kill me. Ooh, these are new. What are these? Dream. Oh, I can jump to another level, apparently. Interesting. Ooh, that's really good, but it would take a lot of my really good stuff. But everything does explosives is so good. Alright, well at least I got one of my bands. Hopefully that doesn't hurt me too much. I'm gonna actually grab both of these. I'm gonna have tons of item activations as soon as I get an item. I'm just hoping it doesn't take that long. Let's see, I didn't don't think I lost anything too critical. Yeah, I still have my crits. I've got my heal outside of battle. I didn't have anything really too fantastic item-wise anyway. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. That was like the worst enemy to immediately have spawn on there. Okay, let's see what we can find. I also seem to be down one healing drone, or maybe I only had one ever. Is that a hidden chest inside of a... No, it's just a tipped over pot. Damn. Alright, how much chest cost in this area? Not too bad. Yep. Yeah. Gasoline! Alright, we got some AoE finally. Always vital on single-player runs to have something that can chain enemies. I'm just not going to get hit anymore, thank you. Fire hurts. 
wonder if they've added anything new to this area other than the, like, unique boss, which I actually haven't fought too much. I wonder if that is the one I need for the achievement? I'm not entirely certain. Alright, we got a faster movement speed. That's a nice one to get, because we are slow. And it really is costing us on our time. Ugh, those things with bleed are not friendly for my turrets. But yeah, Engineer is definitely probably the easiest class to do this test run with, because uh, I don't have to worry about uh, always having to shoot things. Having a couple extra guns is never a bad thing. Just wish I knew how to navigate this area just a little bit better. <gasps> An equipment barrel! These be something that actually works with Jester of the Drowned. Alright, sure. I'll take periodic heals. And I do have one Warhorn, so every 15 or so seconds, apparently, I'm just going to get some attack speed buff. It's not huge. But it's nice. Oh, hello, guys. Um, a lot of you here. Alright, let's earn some cash, shall we? Let's see, we can get more bleed... Oh, no, we definitely get the grenade. Ow, hook. All right, we got both of our bands back, so now they will trigger double. We have another option for... Instead of heals, we could have heals. Lovely. I can finally get equipment grades, and they're both healing. Still probably not a terrible thing, but definitely something that's more useful when it's not auto-activated. Is there anything around the back? No. Alright, take our jump, go to the next area. See if we can't find some more loot in here. Things are getting dangerous. I wish I'd timed that a little bit better to my heal item. All right, we're now up in impossible territory. The fireworks, oh, finally an energy drink. Fireworks are doing a good job of getting us some uh, extra kills and stuff, though. All right, get some frenzy. Okay, now everything is starting to become isolates, and I'm not a fan of that, because i got to remember that they have that explosion burst. Ow. Didn't really see any items over here, but I figure I might want to check. Okay, there's really no items over here. This is just a terrible idea to come over this way. Now, how am I going to get back? Uh-oh. Did I just jump myself into a place where I'm not able to come back from? But there was always a way back. Oh no. <laughs> Can't make that jump. Um, game? Uh, give me a little help here. 
This is not good. All right. So that's dumb. Um. Hmm. I really should have thought that through, but I was like, oh, look at this area over here. I'll go to that instead of going up to the next level, and, uh... There's no way to get back. Oh, boy. Maybe, just maybe, if I jump off over here... Okay, it put me back onto the main platform area. And did it right before my heal fruit activated, so I'm okay on health. That was almost really bad. <laughs> Mines are going to be key to keep me from dying to their bleed damage. Can I get a missile launcher, maybe? Okay, that'll work. I will take, I will look at it, and it explodes. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Those guys are super deadly. Holy crap. Wow. They do not take it easy on you. Oh, there goes my missile drone, I think. Oh, hello, guys. Can I uh, redirect you over towards my turrets? There we go. Okay, so there's the... The... the uh... Finale area. Teleporter. Couldn't remember its name. I'm gonna go check down the ramp, because, yep, there are chests down here. Some more boss damage. That's always good. Fire expl Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, there we go. Woo. At least the lightning is sort of killing things for me every now and again. Oh, good. Some more heal outside of battle. That guy is just in a very awkward position. You can just uh, pick him off for me for extra bonus. Ooh, I will take a higher crit chance. Um, let's open this up first, see what that is. Okay, I'd like to keep one of the turtles, so let's see what we can get for crits. Oh, not my grenades. Those were extra good damage. Well... I can get rid of a lot of the rest of this stuff. Oh, not my speed. Alright, keys are fine. I haven't found a lockbox yet anyway. Yep, banner's fine. Those are super rare to get level ups anyway at this point. Uh, the bleed damage probably would have been nice. But 100% crits is kind of worth it. Okay, now I'm stopping. Because I need to have at least one of those heal outside of battles. All right, 90% chance of crits. 
That works out really well, because I have my crits heal me, so I'm going to get a lot of healing going on with this build. Alright, some more Berserker. Ooh! Um, honestly... There we go. Question is, do I want one more? No, because everything I have is actually really, really useful. Gotta look a lot closer to an enemy to get that lightning strike to trigger now, though. Oh, I lost my fireworks. They were always fun. Did a lot of damage, too. But at least I got five second lightning strikes. Hey, got one of my uh, slugs back. Alright, that looks like it for this area. Let's go take on the boss before this becomes I'm coming for you. Alright. Is the boss just right over here? You know, this game could use a mini-map. it down a level. It was down a level. Alright. Okay, we gotta get rid of you before we do this. Oh, thank you, Lightning Bolt. Not the Imp Overlord. It's the one thing that can challenge my turrets up on that edge. Luckily, they're doing a pretty good job of clearing them out. Sweet. I have not gotten a uh, Heal in Place Mushroom or whatever it was. Ooh, yes! Critical Strikes heal me! Crit build is going strong. Might actually be worth sacrificing one of my other items to get 100% crits. Yeah, I think it is. Ooh, that uh, Berserker, or that attack speed increase is noticeable now. Ooh, that was that was a good lightning strike. I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, we got a good build. We got a good crit build going on here. Definitely want to rank, rank that up to 100%. Actually, no, I want to keep it 90% because that way I'm not going to complain if I get another glasses. Yeah, 90% is solid. The blue plant box things are kind of throwing me off. Kept thinking they were uh, new chests. All right, this is going to jump us up to ha ha ha, isn't it? Probably going to start dying soon. Yep, we're in ha 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 ha. Oh, this is a new level. Siren's Call. All right. It's like an underwater level. That is a giant crazy thing. They're like fucking birds and stuff. Oh, this is all new. I'm glad we made it this far. That's what we needed. Alright, we are good to go. I fucking love this underwater area. This is amazing. Damn. It's a new item. Yeah, 
And a new boomerang guy. Apparently the birds are boomerang things? Alright, what does this do? Gain bonus damage to nearby, nearby enemies. Focus crystal. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, extra jump. That'll be useful for navigating and escaping, especially with jellyfish. What do we got here? Ah, oh, ukulele. Definitely need ukulele. 780. Alright, the heal on hit is actually, like, literally saving my life at the moment. This is getting a little nuts. Um, got something better than lightning? I love missile launcher. And there are a few things back here. One of them is the teleporter. This is a really bad teleporter spot. Although, having a shrine of healing here is actually a really good thing. Frozen. Ooh, boy, that would have been bad if I tried that third uh, HP steal right there. Alright, fully activated shrine of... Whoa, what is that? Oh, Lemurians, okay. Hadn't seen those in a while. Alright, well at least we have the boss arena set up. This is an amazing area. I absolutely love it. That's actually a jellyfish boss. Gonna hide behind the statue, thank you. Oh, the Lemurians are really bad on this level. They are gonna be what kills me. Seem to be highly dangerous. Oh, and those things. Okay. Yeah, I need get something that, like, recharges my turret ability. So I'm gonna need lots of turrets. Oh, boy. Luckily, my crit healing and stuff like that are keeping my turrets alive a lot longer than I expected them to, so that build is going good at least. They just don't do a lot of damage. Um, is there anywhere I haven't explored yet? I started over there on the ship. I think maybe up that way, but I don't know how to get up. Oh, here we go. One more chest. Is there a secret in the back here? Also, I unlock the new character if I beat the uh, boss of this area. Oh, shit. So I do want to kind of try to do that. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, the ukulele is perfect for what we were missing. This looks like a fun little secret area. Oh, I see a printer. Teddy bear! That's actually going to be real useful. Okay, that's how I get back up. We got printer, turtle amulet, and a missile drone to replace one of the ones I lost. Um, crap, that was one of my... Mm -hmm. That was unfortunate. Oh, well, we're still 80% crit. The build holds steady for now. Oh, and this just comes right back out over here. All right. Some stuff over there and a lot of stuff up. All right. There was a. Oh boy. Is that triple choice somewhere over this way? to get... Oh, I can just go straight up here? Yeah, that's how I get up. Alright. We'll search the top area, and then we'll call it for the boss, because I want to beat this boss and unlock that thing, and I'm going to die before that happens. Potentially. <laughs> if I get too greedy. Did you get anything for going out and getting their nests? Okay, we got Will-O-Wisp. That is a really, really, really worth it thing to get. Oh, there's a lot of birds. Shoot the birds, turrets. Shoot the birds. What the hell is all the way over here? Alright, we were down below. Is there anything up here? Just a really cool, like, side area. I bet you there's the, uh, the shrine thing. Lizard shrine here somewhere. Alright, we got, like, one more area to explore. But yeah, that Will-O-Wisp is, that's a, that's a huge, huge gain for our, uh, survivability. Seen any other items? More healing drones, that's always good. You hear a distant whirling. I have no idea what that means. Was that it opening that gate behind the boss door? Was there like a point to that? I, I don't know what that is. Is that like a I'm taking too long, the boss is coming kind of a thing? What are we doing with? Ooh, that bird got roasted. Nice, we got a lunar coin. Any 
missed a couple things, but not a huge number. This one we can actually grab. Okay, those turrets are healing themselves up nicely. Ah, sticky bombs. Nice. Okay. I think we have gone far enough into the ha 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 ha. We just need to get a defensible position set up. See, I think figure the whirling would be that thing opening up or something, but really not. Get these guys covering each other. All those bonus extra... Ooh, actually, probably should have moved those onto that so that they get the extra healing from that. Oh, wow, okay. Well, none of these circles overlap now. Hmm. Sixteen seconds. And then I will summon the boss. And then run right back up here. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a wandering vagrant in close quarters. That actually might be better. I think the you do more damage the thing in close quarters is actually useful for that. That wasn't the unique boss. I wonder if that distant whirling is something we were supposed to find? Chrono Bobble. Oh, ow. Thank you, Teddy Bear. That probably saved my life there. Huh. It's one of those things I just don't know. I'll have to learn about it another run through this area, I guess. I don't... I couldn't tell you where to be suspicious of in this area. Okay, well, that's another item. Let me get this boss done so enemies stop spawning. Maybe I'll scan around a bit. See if I can't find this other boss. The whirling glo grows loud. Alloy ship worship unit. What? Oh, is this maybe the secret boss? Okay, I'm gonna stay right here then. Replant that turret so it gets the boss bonus. Where is this worship unit? Oh! That thing! That would that would probably qualify as a secret boss. It's a lot of damage it's going to have output. Yeah, do not get in the way of that charge attack. Turret's holding its own, though. The 80% crits is a lot of heal. Ooh, but not quite enough. Coming here. Maybe? Yep, it's coming. Are those like baby versions of it? Come on, come into the cave. That's right, follow me into the range of the turrets of death. Oh, okay, it makes more things. That's good to know. 
not able to stay in... Come on, I want to get inside this heal bubble. I want to kill that thing. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to path into the cave, but that's probably a smart idea on its part. Guns don't target that far. Oh, wait, here it comes. Oh, boy. What the shit? Okay, I'm alive somehow. Got some weird exploding stuff going on with it. Oh, boy. No! Damn it, it's like a final boss mechanic. Well, we found the secret boss that unlocks the character, so, uh, yeah. If I get some free time when I'm not super busy streaming and doing other stuff this week, I might play some more of this and, uh, see if we can't get that encounter again. Um, I probably should have been more aggressive against it. Rather than trying to lead it into the cave, I should have probably just placed the turrets and run away and then let the turrets die and then come back and put some more turrets down. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed some more uh, Risk of Rain 2. We'll be back next time, whenever that may be. Goodbye.